best winner out of the nine, we went North Melbourne. Oh, this we're has moving been on. Yeah, okay. the win so long promised, and to run down the best finishers in the business just gave it all the more merit. Hartman looks up. Not a lot to go to. Forwards. Look who. He takes it on. Harvey. He's going to struggle from this distance. Watch the ball. I watch the ball. Jump if I was man on the mark. Do not jump. He elects not to kick it back and waste time. He goes for the kill. Oh, it. what a kick. It's a goal. Oh, he's the man. Don't you want to be here? So that's the standard now for North Melbourne. They're 2-1 and one and they're on their way. Nathan Grimer is coming to join us on AFL 360. Nathan, thanks for popping by. No worries. Thanks for having me in. What did it mean? What did that win mean? Uh, we needed it, didn't we? Like, after last year, you look at so many times, I think 10 times, under 16 points. Um, and, you know, I reckon in that third quarter, people are probably thinking, here we go again. But uh, to the boys' credit, they dug in and a few of our younger guys stood up and... You know, we, we really enjoyed the win and, and deservedly so. So why? Why did you dig in and why were you able to settle this time? Well, I suppose it's, you know, why did we dig in? I guess you could say last year, why didn't we dig in? But I just think, you know, we knew Port finished well. It's been well documented that they're the best finishers in the business. And uh, we, we've had a big pre-season ourselves. And at three-quarter time, Brad looked us in the eye and, you know, and he reinforced the fact that we have had that huge pre-season. And, you know, at the end of the game, I think we're still running across the ground a lot better than Port. <clears throat> Brad said a really interesting thing after the round two game against Bulldogs. He said, I think he said during the week, he said something like, I know a lot of you people out there didn't think it was a great game, the Bulldogs game, but to us it was so important because we scrapped it out. Then you go out against Port Adelaide and you out Port Adelaide, Port Adelaide. You run, you, you're really hard. Trying to get that balance between the defensive side, which you had to work on, we all know that, and maintain your offensive side... Does that take time, or is that, is that an easy thing to do? Oh, we've, we've put a lot of focus on defence over the pre-season, as every club has. Uh, you look at Fremantle, they're such a good defensive team. But, um, you know, like, it's hard. Like, you look at the Essendon game in round one, and we were smashed off the puck. We were probably lucky to come away with a 39-point loss. And I think that week we went back to basics and really worked on our defence and how we wanted to play and what we wanted to stand for. And I guess it was an ugly game, the Bulldogs game, from a spectacle point of view. It wouldn't have been nice, but... From a player's point of view, to get over the line in a hard-fought one, you know, and then you know, realise that we can go back to a bit of a fence as well. You know, we got the balance obviously a lot better yesterday. The um, the feeling in that in that Essendon game compared to the feeling yesterday after half time, you were chasing air against Essendon. Yeah. The mo uh, it was called momentum, but the feeling amongst the players, as everyone stood up, no Zebel, no Swallow. Did you run off the ground? Sorry, what was wrong with you? Oh, I, was there. I wasn't doing much, but I was out there. <laughs> <laughs> no, yesterday against the uh, doggies, I was crook and got subbed out. But, That's right. So uh, I, you know, I, just, I must have had a pretty ordinary second half, but I was out there running around. But um, but no, people I, stood up. No, no Zebel, no Swallow, and then you got you got you got Cunnington, you got you got Gibson, you got all these players. You said, right, I'm going to put my hand up here because that's what you didn't do. Two weeks ago. Yeah, I think, as you said, Andrew Swallow. I don't think it's been documented how big a loss he is to the team. He's a very underrated player. He's, you know, he just gets in and he gets it done week in, week out. And, you know, without him there, it's been putting a little bit more pressure on the other guys. And, you know, finally yesterday, you saw Cunnington show what he's capable of. Levi Greenwood's had to bide his time in the VFL and stood up. And I think he's had 34 possessions and almost... He's been good, hasn't he, Levi? Yeah, he's as hard as a cat's head. And we love him at the club. And it's just hard to get them all in the team when you've got Swallow, Zebel, Cunnington, Bastanak, and then Levi. So the doors open up and... Uh, yeah, he, he's the playing way well he plays, enough. He's mate, playing he's, well enough. Uh, he's a good player. Two or three years ago, he was nearly first pick. So uh, yeah. it's just great that he's getting an opportunity and, and, and played so well yesterday. So now that you've done it, what was the demand like today? That that be your level from here on, from the coach? Because uh, we've got a seven-day break again. We haven't been in at the club today. We've just had recovery and um, we'll go through it tomorrow. And it's nice to actually enjoy a win for a win, you know, because tomorrow, no doubt, you only get better from identifying the, the probably the negative. So... Although we all think we went pretty well yesterday, I'm sure tomorrow Brad will just uh, reinforce a few things. We had a few goals kicked out the back, and it wasn't perfect. But uh, how, you know, does a good game of footy. how does that happen? <laughs> I mean, you watch a game of footy, right, and then it comes over the back. Were you near where um, where Gus Monfries did his hamstring? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's bad for him, but because oh. that was weird looking. I've had my fair share of injuries, and I hate seeing players get injured. But he was he was out. He had us cold. He was going like a cut cat, and we were chasing him and. 
I wasn't smiling when he did his hamstring, so as no. I said, don't like injuries, but yeah, it looked like a nasty one, and um, they kicked two or three out the back, and we'll look at those no. tomorrow, and you know, you don't want to ever see a team get goals out the back. There was bad news. Jamie McMillan, who we spoke to on radio a couple of weeks ago, and his honesty was just unbelievable after that Essendon game and the performance. He's broke, got a broken leg, out for six. What a blow. Yeah, I was in the in that contest, as you can see, and I just yelled at the Jamie, like, get up, mate. Like, it didn't realise how bad he was, and to his credit, he actually limped into the next stoppage and set up and was telling the boys where to stand and you know, as credit to him, most players would have probably just put their head down and called for the trainer. He actually stood out there. So he went the over to the next contest with a with a broken bone and he's like... Yeah, I'll give him a bit of a rev up because I was like, mate, get him <laughs> off the bloody You're ground and get him, get him the stuffy structure. But no, and he come off and apparently um, you know, he's, he's actually pretty keen to... They, I think they said to him, you know, you might have fractured your leg and he goes, oh, can I try and run? And they're like, if you want, I think you can, mate, but you're not going to go that? far. That's a great attitude, he's, isn't it? He's well respected, he's, he's, he's a great kid and he's actually starting to play some really consistent footy. It feels like a breakthrough. Well done. Thank Good you luck. Uh, it's the Swans next, so I guess uh, you, you pretty, face a pretty stiff test immediately. You're on, buddy. I'll make sure I'm never on Buddy again after he kicked 13 on me. So Scotty Thompson can. Uh, <laughs> Scotty Thompson's the All Australian full back, so I think He'll it's only you. his duty to go to the best forward in the competition. Good stuff. Nathan, thanks for coming in. Nathan right, Grimer with us on AFL 360.